Hello, I'm Andy from VPN Mentor and in this video I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of Proton VPN. So I'm going to test their speed and I'm going to test whether they can unblock geo-restricted content such as Netflix and I'm also going to assess the customer support. So to get started, let's visit ProtonVPN.com. They are a brand new VPN provider on the market and I've decided to test out their service using their beta version. So it is worth noting here that they are based in Switzerland, so this could be quite an attractive provider for the more privacy conscious users out there. Um, Switzerland do have some tough laws surrounding user data and data being collected by third parties. Anyway, right now I'm going to go ahead and sign up to download this VPN. Right now they offer Windows users their very own native client in order to connect to the servers. For other platforms such as Mac OS X or Linux, they've kindly supplied installation guides. And you can find installation guides for the Android, which will require the use of a third party app called OpenVPN for Android. And similarly for iOS, you need the OpenVPN Connect app from the Apple Store. But as I'm using a Mac, I'm going to check out the guide for installing on OS X. Okay, so in order to connect to the servers, I'm actually going to have to download a third party software called Tunnelblick. This is simply an open source platform that uses OpenVPN protocol, which is just used to establish a connection to any VPN server. So let's head over to tunnelblick.net and this is where you can download this software for free. I already have this on my computer, so let's go back to the guide and download the OpenVPN configuration files. These are the files that we're just going to load into Tunnelblick. So what we're going to do is unzip the files and here we can see they offer 89 different servers in 14 different locations including Australia, Canada, UK, US, Netherlands and France to name a few. And all we do is we simply highlight these and drag and drop them into Tunnelblick. Okay, now the next step is to sign up to Proton Mail. This company has mainly been an email service provider, but they've now launched their new service being Proton VPN. So for this demonstration, I'm going to have to sign up for an email account. This may change in the future as they may offer two different services with two different accounts, but uh, this remains to be seen. But for now, don't worry, this service is actually free to sign up as I'm about to show you. So click sign up for free and follow all the instructions. Okay, so once you've signed up, click on Upgrade as highlighted here and you'll be taken to the pricing page. They offer three different packages, one being the free account which I have, and also the Plus and Visionary. So to get the VPN, you'll need to upgrade to either of these, but if all you want is the VPN, then simply upgrade the free package. So you can either pay monthly, or if you prefer a discounted price, you can choose to pay annually. So I'm going to select the Pay Monthly, and you'll see here that they accept credit card, PayPal, and also if you wish to remain anonymous and maintain your privacy while paying, you can also choose Bitcoin. But first, let me just draw your attention to a great way that you can save a lot on VPNs. Head over to vpnmentor.com and you can find all the latest deals and discounts. So this is a great way to save yourself a lot of hassle when it comes to purchasing a VPN. Okay, so let's head on back to Proton VPN. I've just made my purchase, and now I want to configure my VPN. So I'll click on the VPN link on the left, and it'll still take me to my login page. So I'm gonna configure my password and my username, which can be your Proton Mail username and password, but for added security, it's best to create a whole new set of login details. Okay, and once you've completed that, head on over to Tunnelblick and simply input your username and password and it's all very straightforward from here this should connect to our server it should only take between 5 and 10 seconds to connect and now that I've established a connection just want to make sure that it works and it successfully worked for me so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to conduct some VPN tests so just to show you that I have disconnected, here's my IP address based in Glasgow, United Kingdom. What I'm going to do now is actually test the speed of my ordinary IP address and then I'm going to reconnect with Proton VPN just to see the difference. So here I go to the speed test 
and the results are showing that I have a ping of 33 milliseconds, which is not too bad. And I've got a download speed of 3.14 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 0.96. So my P is actually slower than what I'd usually expect. However, let's continue and I'm going to test out Netflix here. So I've gone on to the UK version of Netflix, it automatically does that for me because I'm not using any VPN here and I'm based in the UK. So what I'm going to do is search for a movie that I know is not located in the UK, which is Enemy of the State, which is usually available for the uh, US catalogue of Netflix. So here we can see it doesn't show up on my account. However, I did try several US servers earlier and I did get this message quite repeatedly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to email support and I want to ask them if there is a particular server that can connect to Netflix for me and can unblock this content. So here we go, simply go to your dashboard and click support. So I can't find the information that I want in the FAQs, so instead I'm actually going to email support and I'm also going to test how long it takes them to get back to me. So keep watching and I'll show you their response in just a moment. In the meantime, I'm going to check out how fast Proton VPN actually is. So as you can see, I am connected to the United States server. So if I head on to the speed test page, let's check out the results. So already I have a ping of 132 milliseconds, which is 100 milliseconds slower than my ordinary IP, which is not too bad for a VPN. I have a download speed of 3.07 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 0.84. So overall, Proton VPN is only marginally slower than my original IP, as my download speed was in fact 3.14 and my upload speed was 0.96. So actually, that's not bad at all. Unfortunately, I didn't receive a reply from support regarding my Netflix problem. Usually they take between one and two business days to get back, however this is slightly over one or two days and I'm still waiting for a reply. Anyway, I did continue my trial and error of some US servers but I still had no luck unblocking Netflix. On the plus side, the installation and configuration of TunnelBlick was actually very simple and painless. And websites loaded very quickly and the connection speed never really caused me too much problems. So overall, I still recommend this service to people. You can find out more about Proton VPN by going to vpnmentor.com and here you find expert reviews as well as guest reviews. You can also use the comparison tool to compare one VPN to another. So if you've experienced Proton VPN, we'd love to hear what you have to say, so please leave a comment below or go to vpnmentor.com and leave your guest review. Also, please don't forget to like and share this video. So, thanks for watching.